Griffin said, old ways will not open new doors, a belief Pratt and Whitney has had from the beginning. Since the days of the Wasp engine, we've celebrated an inherent drive to push the boundaries of innovation for aviation. And we did it again. One of the things I think that is real benefit to Pratt & Whitney is we are truly in an engineering organization. McCune is often referred to as the father of the gear and for good reason. He knew he could make this gear concept work back in 1988. The concept is this, develop a gearbox so that the intake fan runs slower while the compressors and turbines run faster. The result, airframers enjoy double digit savings in fuel, emissions, and the noise footprint. It's a really satisfying moment that you have when you can come up with an idea, put it on a piece of paper, turn it into metal, and then actually make it work and, and it does what you thought it would from the very beginning. The exhaustive work by Mike and his team has led to another pivotal moment, the birth of a new program, the Embraer E2. With the E2 promising advanced aerodynamics coupled with a game-changing engine, customers are eager for deliveries. Norwegian Airlines Woodrow enters the jet age with the first E2 off the floor. Well, Vitaro is interested in taking this next step. They want to grow their business, they want to expand, and so they're looking for the next generation of jets. They're looking for a fuel-efficient aircraft, and that's exactly what they're getting. With nacelles and engine controls provided by UTC Aerospace Systems and APUs by Pratt & Whitney, there is great pride company-wide of bolstering a program opening up new markets for customers. But in the case of Vitaro, where they're primarily a prop operator, to bring a jet aircraft into their fleet it has an enormous growth in what they want to be as a company and what they want to be as an airline. Indeed, old ways do not open new doors, but there is one old school method ingrained in Pratt & Whitney's DNA that will never change. DNA flowing through Mike McCune and thousands of his co-workers. The desire to create and build the world's greatest engine. It's really in the, in the culture of the company that says we, we innovate new products.